All right, guys, so I'm here at We Are Mopar, and if you can see right next to me, that's actually my TRX. The TRX that I'm sitting in belongs to Mr. Terry of RDM Builds, and what he's got for me is a prepared truck, right? He's got 802 horsepower, if I can remember. We're gonna talk to him after this, and you're probably wondering, why am I inside Mr. Terry's TRX and not my own? And that's because he trusted in me to take his TRX here at We Are Mopar out on the BF Goodrich autocross course to give it a little shakedown and just get comfortable with the truck to tell him how I feel about what he's created. So anyways, I got a helmet right here behind me. I've got my GoPro. I got plenty of mounts here in Mr. Terry's truck. Uh, his performance pages are different. That's the one thing that I noticed, but we'll get into the nitty gritty details about this truck after I take it out on the course. So let's get over there. All right guys, I got a special guest in the truck with me now, and that's Shane, the owner of the Formula Drift Sammy Hubenay's Dodge Charger. What's let's up, dog? Go, let's go. So you ever done autocross before? No, honestly, not on a real track, no. Okay, I don't know if you saw some of the old videos from We Are Mopar, but mm -hmm. I used to run the autocross course here, but my Challenger's down. Yeah. I'm so now people are lending me their toys to okay. play with, right? So uh, I've done autocross, but I'm not gonna lie to you, dude, I've never done it in a pickup truck. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. Round one. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> Over steer. Man, this bitch is heavy, bro. Yeah, that's great, though. I like it. My boy's sending it. The car detail is tough going everywhere. <laughs> oh, look at this thing. Holy cow. Damn, this bitch is big, bro. Yeah, that's a lot to move. Holy Jesus. Final oh, round. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> oh, we gotta strap that stuff down next yeah, time. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Struck, bro. <laughs> Holy cow. I've seen these things get all four tires off the air, so. <laughs> all right, guys, I just parked Mr. Terry's beautiful, powerful TRX back here, but I promised you we would talk to him about what he's done to the truck so you guys can get a better understanding of everything. As you can see in the video, I think you can see in the video with Gucci over there that when we're hitting the turns, man, this truck is super heavy. But what I found was that when I would apply a little left foot brake in the turn in and ease out with the gas, it was turning, but it's just scary because it's so damn big. But let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Terry. That's what she said. That's what she said, dog. That's what she said, let's dog. Let's go. Hey, talk to me. Oh. Oh, it's, man. It's a truck, man. It's a TRX. You, know it's a you own one. I mean, Emily drives it better than you do. Let's be <laughs> honest about it. So. What did you do? Because it definitely feels Whoa. faster. Okay. And did we you say this. Emily? That's Ashley. I know. Gotcha, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> Talk to me. 2022 TRX, one of three in the nation, has a red eye motor in it. Uh, what we've done is we took it down and we had HP House unlock it, tune it, and do some stuff. We put a one and a half inch uh, leveling kit by Rogue Off Road on it. Uh, change the tires and wheels out, that was some little bit thing. I took it to a shock company called TTS Shocks and had them look at our active dampening system. They looked at it, said they were okay. They fine tuned them. That's the only thing I've done to this truck. Other than that, I drive it every day. 12,000 miles, of course, it ain't as many as you got. Yeah, but I, I actually drive mine. Like, I drive it to work, I drive it to the grocery store. Hell, we even take the baby today here in it. Hey, <laughs> if we want to go there, I drive mine every day. I've had mine four months. How long have you had yours? Eight, six, seven months. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you only got me by a little bit. Okay. But anyway, I mean, it's an amazing truck. It really is. Um, I love this truck. I put a rack on the back. I put mountain top, uh, retractable rack, uh, bed cover on it. Uh, and then a wrap by Ape Works, and it catches a lot of attention. We got XK Glow lights on it right now, but it's an amazing vehicle. Um, 
we made some comments we got a lot of views on our other uh little deal about our hellcat but uh <laughs> i'm gonna stick with it yeah man that's a sick truck and i love i actually use your mount in there uh -huh. for the uh, uh phone footage for tiktoks and stuff that's bulletproof mounting yeah uh it's an amazing mount dude we can go rock crawling in this and which we have we went mutton in this and you can put your phone in there and it doesn't lose it yeah, I need to get one of amazing. those. Yeah, and it's cheap. And it they really pop is. radar, because I was flying when I was coming. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was, you know. Yeah, you were being you. Yeah, I was being me. But, no, it, it's an amazing. And it was an honor for me to have Brian drive my truck. I'm not a professional driver. Brian is. You sure about that? I want somebody's opinion that knows how to drive, and Brian did that. So, thank you. Yeah, I know he was in the stands shaking a little bit because I was freaking sending it. So, that that's a ton of fun. I definitely, I kind of wish my car was out here because that's a lot of fun in a car, too. Yeah, yeah, that that's something I haven't got to ride in yet. Uh, we are going to say yet. Yeah, yet. There, there, I still have a long life, and I'm going to get in that car one day. <laughs> Well, Mr. But, Terry, I appreciate you I appreciate so you, brother, much. man. Y'all be careful. And Thank actually, you I mean, we're not saying goodbye. We're going to keep hanging out, but we're going to go walk around the show and yeah. see what other cool stuff we can find. And uh, once again, Ashley does drive better. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I'm about to introduce you to one of my internet friends, but if you guys think what I did with my challenger was insane, this dude took it all the way to General and Lee, and this guy's name is Dylan Boos, and he's out of Dallas, right? Where are you from, man? I'm, I'm Sherwin, Texas. Sher Sherwin? Sherman Texas. Sherman, Texas, guys. And check this thing out. He's got, he always says the same thing. He calls it redneck ingenuity. There it is, guys. Look at this thing. Holy heck. And you might recognize these headlights because I tried it and I was like, okay, I got far enough and I didn't finish it. I promise you I'd make that harness. I'm still working on it. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, if that's the only reason why I would pop the hood and show you the redneck ingenuity that I did that. The prototype one is just flat bar, just straight up flat bar. Yeah, man, you definitely crushed it. All right, talk to me. What did you do? Because it's all about the lift, all right? Oh, yeah. Lights are the same, power, ground, signal. Yep, Let's yep, talk yep. about how you did the lift and how you made it work. So I made it work because I partnered up with Flat Out Suspension and AAD Performance, and they got me hooked up with a three-inch travel kit. Seven-inch travel kit completely with custom coilovers in the front, and then the custom, co the custom uh, struts in the rear. And AAD Performance helped me out with the billet, extended upper arm controls, and then extended lower control arms in the back. And so this thing's got a total of six inch lift with seven inch travel. And it, it does pretty damn good in the uh, in the off-road industry. So it, uh, I've done a couple of trucks, a couple of trucks. In one of my videos, I did better than a Ford truck. I didn't get stuck with one. So I mean, I'll take yeah. that as a win for myself. Yeah, so I definitely, so I saw that video you were going through like a tight trail with another Ford truck, right? Like yep. through some thick I mud. was leading the pack, leading the pack. I was the one that went through it first and everybody else finally went in behind me. Dude, so. I know this thing's got a nickname, right? I don't even have a nickname for it besides I was going from Chally Rally. It was like, I'm not really a rally driver. So I mean, yeah. this isn't what it is, but so if you guys come up with a name, let me know. I'll, yeah, I'll let me know in the comments like below. That. So then we got over here, which I thought was super neat. I thought of this. Except in my head, I actually thought about getting it out here, kind of like an old school uh, Trans Am Pro racing car. But he did it out of this top rear quarter right here, which looks freaking crazy. Five and a half inch tips. Five and a half? Five, Five and, and a half, half inch tips. Look at me, I got a draw already just hanging out <laughs> with you, bro. And then on the inside, you got a stock. Yeah, everything's stock on the inside. I got the uh, custom, and I, I wouldn't say custom, but the Stinger display over there. Okay. Ten and a half inch display. But yeah, pretty much looks like my interior yep. for the most part. I wanted to work on the exterior first and then start with the engine coming in July. And you made your own light bar because it'll make light bars for challenges. Again, this is a prototype one, so don't harsh me on the internet. I don't know my welds suck. I'm a beginner at that. <laughs> All right, but you did it, right? No one can tell you anything. Got the KC highlights in the top, and I think that really sets the car off oh, too yeah. man oh, like yeah. that sets like the tone the president of like this is an off-road mobile fun fact you guys know omar 68 charger there he is but yeah man that looks nothing no other vehicle out here looks like this and i think that's why everybody loves it and i i appreciate that i was honestly coming out here and i was like you know there's gonna be love but i know there's gonna be hate absolutely everybody in the mopar industry has given me nothing but love and i yeah, i respect dude. that 100 percent yeah, it looks absolutely sick. All right, where can, where can the people find you, man, and keep up with your build? Actually, you didn't mention what you're doing to the engine. Oh, yeah, so in July, I'm getting rid of that 3.6 and putting a 5.7. I'm oh, gonna have hey. the Stage 3 Texas Speed Cam, poly intake, I'm gonna have the long tube heads. I'm gonna deck it out. So it's given that lope next year for Mopar. You know, it's funny, man, we got a little experience with putting bigger engines and stuff. 
I don't know if you look at the under the hood of that car. Oh yeah, I, I've already saw it once. Oh, you I saw was it? like, oh my God, if you can do it in this one, I know I can put it on my V6. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. And what's your uh, handle at? Dude, you can put Billet with Boost anywhere, and that's it's Billet with Boost, all one word, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, you name it, I got it. Hell yeah, bro, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. All right, guys, so this is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We had some fun autocrossing big TRXs with 802 horsepower. We saw some really sick builds, but we are headed back to Austin. Ashley, are you excited? Woo! Actually, no, we're gonna go eat somewhere, right, Gabby? Yes. <laughs> All right, we're about, to, we're about to grub somewhere good. Tones! What up? What are you in the mood for, dog? Nice burger. A nice burger? Dude, come on, man, you gotta level up a burger? <laughs> Gabby, what are we eating, steak? Always. Ashley, Ooh. what you want? You want the filet mignon? I'm just hungry. He's just hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, leave a comment below. We are Mopar 2023 Spring Edition is in the books. We're finally done. Uh, we just gotta get our Challenger back together and finish up some of these other projects. As always, guys, love you. If you like these videos, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace out. Good job. so loud you can't even hear the supercharger. Nope.